What is up, Ladder Climbers? This is Antoine Wade, six-figure earner and millionaire, and welcome back to the Black Heights channel where we talk about all things to help you to become successful in life. And I know that sounds good to you, so I want you to keep an open mind and stay here for the entire video. Also, while you're at it, if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button as it helps us grow the channel. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to become a systems analyst. And I chose the role of a systems analyst because a systems analyst can make enough money to help you to become a millionaire if you invest the money properly. Secondly, system analyst roles are technical and will keep you on the latest and greatest technology. And last but not least, you will become a subject matter expert so that you will be the go-to guy in your organization. Now guys, in this video today, we are going to be talking about what is a systems analyst? What are the skills required to become a systems analyst? How to become a systems analyst? The average salary for a system analyst? This is where the rubber meets the road. And last but not least, the career path of a systems analyst. Without further ado, let's jump into what is a systems analyst? I like to define a system analyst as someone who's responsible for maintaining and improving computer systems for organizations and its clients. For instance, if you are working in a warehouse management system, you are the person that's responsible for tweaking the system so that the business users will gain efficiencies. And you are the person that knows how, so you have a good level of technical acumen. You may be able to do the coding, you may be able to do the configuration, and you may know the ins and outs of the actual system. And the system analyst role is really a growing role in popularity and demand because more and more operations, more and more businesses need to be able to have the subject matter experts working in the different systems because all these businesses have to be connected by different systems. And systems analysts are required to work outside standard hours a lot of the times and they have to make sure that systems are being upgraded, there are fixes, they have to ensure that there are minimal interruptions to business as usual. Now let's talk about the skills that you're going to need to become a systems analyst. But one, you're gonna to need to be able to critical solve think skills, and you're gonna need to have good problem solving skills. You're gonna to need to be able to effectively communicate both written as well as verbal communication. You're gonna to need to have good project management skills as well because there's gonna be a lot of projects and it's gonna be a lot of tight deadlines and so you're gonna to have to be able to work under pressure as well too. Now let's talk about how to become a systems analyst. And systems analysts need a bachelor's degree in one of the fields of computer science, information systems, electrical engineering, information technology management. And typically the majority of them go through some sort of internship opportunities while they're in school so that they can gain some hands-on experience working in the field, but also to network with other people in the career field as well too. And once they have experience, a lot of them go ahead and get their MBA in information technology management or management information systems so that they can climb the ladder, become better managers and move on to the chief suite. Now let's talk about the average salary of a systems analyst because they do make a lot of money. And if you use that money to invest the correct way, you can become a millionaire. And the average salary for a systems analyst in 2021 is about $79,000 a year. And the average growth rate for the field in general is about 11%. Now let's talk about the career path of a systems administrator because as you become a systems administrator, you're going to become a subject matter expert and you can stay in that role and stay in that field to learn other technologies because you're going to be pushed to learn different systems and different architectures and different frameworks. So you will become a subject matter expert there. However, if you want to continue to push yourself, there is an ample amount of opportunities in your career that you can go down. A lot of system analysts go on to become project managers, network engineers, systems engineers. Now to go on and network engineering route, you're going to have to get some certifications, something like a security plus or a network plus. Those will certainly be helpful for you. But if you don't choose to be technical and want to climb the ladder, 
a lot of system analysts go ahead and become a project manager, a business analyst. They can become an information technology manager, a program manager, a product manager. These are all some of the different career opportunities that you will have as a systems analyst. And guys, I recommend a role as a systems analyst because one, you're going to make a lot of money within your career, a high six figure salary, especially if you are an expert in your field and in high demand. Two, you're going to stay up on the latest and greatest technology trends to keep yourself technical. And three, if you want to be able to climb the ladder, you're going to have the opportunity to do so as well. But if you choose not to, you can still become a subject matter expert and stay employed for the majority of your career because you're going to have knowledge that a lot of people aren't going to have. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you consider a role of a systems analyst because they do make a lot of money. And if you save and you invest the correct way, you can become a millionaire. Guys, if you have a comment on anything I've said in this video, leave me a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button because we want to get to a thousand likes. And until next time, y'all, Peace.